Hi, today we will be studying uh, Matthew 7 and we will be reading from the first verse. And I would like to, today's topic, do not judge. It's all about judgment. What is judgment? Why the Lord says do not judge and we have another scriptures. And scriptures will not contradict. Uh, the word will not speak against uh, the word. word also, also, the word of God is always uh, uh, actually uh, uh, going, coming and working together. The word of God coming together to, to have a full picture of God himself and what his passages and what he wants from us. And it's all good for us. It's so beneficial for us. I'm going to read, do not judge. The, the topic would be judge not and you be not be and you be not judged for with what judgment you judge you will be judged and with the measure you use it will be measured back to you and why do you think why do you look at the speck at your brother's eye but do not consider the plank in your eye your own eye or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, and look, a plank is in your own eye. Hypocrite. First remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. So, very uh, powerful passage. Um, so when I read, when I read uh, the sp scripture comes and just, speaks to your heart yeah i'm talking with myself yeah i read the scripture and the scripture will speak to my heart so this is a very popular very famous scripture here judge not that you be not judged yeah so whatever here is there are uh, there are in the bible scriptures about uh judging and how to judge why do you judge do you judge and what does judge mean so in this uh, in this verse to me the uh, the verse is speaking uh simply about speaking like uh, judge not that you be not judged and then it explains how yeah for with uh what judgment you judge you will be judged so and with the measure you use it will be measured back to you and why do you look at the speck on your here's the answer why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye but do not consider the plank in your own eye and you said, let me just here help, help you. This is your, it speaks to me. Like for instance, before, before I see things going wrong and I see going wrong, first it's scripture says, Nika, I want you to see if you're doing the same thing or you're doing it uh, the way how, uh, the, the way how uh, the Lord wants you to do, the way the, how uh, the scripture says to you to do. So it's always, I need to see if somebody's doing wrong. Do I do that the same thing? Do, is is it, is it applicable to me? So, and if I if I'm um, something is bothering me, is something I don't like, and in, in uh, especially we're talking about we we're not out to judge uh, non-believers. That period, like I don't judge them what they how they live their life, how they what they do. If they're out of Christ, I encourage i share my faith with them if they don't like it they didn't want it they, i just i just stay back i don't i'm not going to go and convince them what's what uh um i just it's my job only to to introduce them to the to the gospel and with with the things i say with the things i how i walk and do that but and their their choices if they choose or not but I cannot judge. So to me, it's like I don't judge the world. I don't because they're already condemned without Christ Jesus. There is condemnation. But we're talking about this. It says about the brother, yeah, Christians. We're Christian, we Christian. When we they call themselves, we call themselves ourselves Christians. We we say Jesus is our Lord, yeah. And then to me, it speaks like Nika. You saw somebody doing wrong, and you know this wrong actions. It's not pleasing God. It's wrong, it's uh, uh, very wicked actions. Before you judge, you do look and think, are you doing the same thing? Doesn't matter in the big ways or small ways. Are you doing the same thing? And I need to say, if, and then 
there's there's a situation if i know that i will not choose this way i will i don't live life like that i don't choose this actions and because it's it, it is displeasing god and it's not presenting god then exa examine ex examining examining in making researches of my own actions then i can come and speak to a person who call themselves brothers and christ or sisters in christ and i will lead them to the light so please do not do this because it's not uh what god wants us to do that and then if, if a person is not listening then then what can you do you know, what you can do just like when you have to just you know that this this is our, this is not a wise christian and because wise christian they will listen they will Mm, take heed in that they will they will pray for that they will thank you because that's how you become more wise when you uh, receive corrections uh, edif edifications so then you know how to uh, so there are many many times I would I would um, try to I would try to lead to the scripture in saying that I don't think that this is the right way this is the way how God wants you to you know, answer to the situation, and then person will be upset. Then, not, then it's indication for me that a person is, needs to grow in Christ Jesus. And for the next time, I won't be a, I won't be speaking anything because they're not taking it healthy way. So this is about this is all about before you judge, yeah. Before you before you go uh, to the judge, judgment, search if you are you doing the same thing. And this is to me. I, Nika, are you doing the same thing and then you're seeing this other person is doing? First, remove, don't be hypocrite. So it's, we are called, people are, we are called, if I will be called hypocrite, if I'm doing the same thing and going and judging somebody for the same thing. No, we don't want to be hypocrites. Uh, was I in this position in, in my work with the Lord Christ? Probably yes, probably yes. And <clears throat> actually I was. And there is there are testimonies about that too but praise god lord his holy spirit is always giving us a wisdom to make it right to go and make it right so we have chances after chances to do that and i would like to read another scriptures uh, uh, according to uh, what is judgment mean well i'm going to read first corinthians 2 15. first corinthians 2 15 says there is uh, i'll have a list of different um, uh, interpretation, uh, like translations. I'm sorry, not interpretation, translations. So let's do the let's do um, English English standard, standard version. Um, the spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. So we judge, we judge things. We see God. Lord says, look and see the fruits. Uh, what kind of fruits from uh, good fruits does not come from bad tree in the bad fruits does not come from the good tree so just that means when you watch well, when you watch will you see what you do you judge you judge judges mean you you put on scale you weigh you discern things yeah those the spiritual and there is another there is a lot of translations here so King James version version also but he that is spiritual judges all things yet he himself is judged of no man so we are in christ jesus and holy spirit we we it's giving to us is a right to judge things that's mean to think about things to weigh things to analyze things to exam, examine things uh question things and applies with the holy spirit what spirit reveals and so and yet we are judged by no one because our ultimate judge is the Holy Spirit in, in us. The unbeliever cannot judge us because they don't understand the believer's spiritual nature. So this is, uh, this, is the, this is the scripture for today. I will read again. Judge not and you will, will be not judged. Before you, before you see things are going wrong with your brother and sister, before you start... Mm, saying it's I'm, I'm saying before Nika before you start seeing things good things are going wrong and uh, make sure that you discern those things and judge according their fruits but also I need to look at myself and say Nika are you doing the same thing in any shapes or forms in any possibilities it has a resemblance with the judgment you're right now seeing so taking the 
plank out of my eyes, taking any specks out of my life, out of my own eyes, then go and help others. So this is uh, the great wisdom to learn. And uh, people take only this first uh, uh, verse saying, judge not that you will be judged. Judge not, you will be judged. Yeah, so, and then we need to consider also 1 Corinthians 2, 15, 1 Corinthians 2, 15, it also says that spiritual person that judges everything. Judges, that means look everything, consider and put uh, my own life situations, am I doing, how is it, what the Bible says, what the scripture says. And then if you have a, um, the words for of, cor of corrections or edifications or, or um, you know, kind of, um, how to say, uh, advising and giving some wisdom to the brother and Christ, uh, and uh, who confess their their uh, their brothers and sisters in Christ. Then before you say, you actually say to myself before you can, you say to your brother Christ, make sure that you are not doing the same thing. You are not doing the same, um, uh, maybe even worse things that you are just about to go and judge somebody for their actions. Um, this is uh, scripture for today, and thank you for watching. We are going to be talking more about that. Uh, again, I repeat, it was Matthew 7, I read from New King James, and I read 1 Corinthians 2.15. 1 Corinthians 2.15, I read, uh, I will repeat. Um, uh, let's, let's repeat from a, a complete Jewish Bible. I'm going to read this because it's more closer translation. But the person who has the spirit can evaluate everything, judge everything, uh, other, other words, uh, with, uh, while, while he's judging and evaluating everything, while no one is in a position to evaluate him, because we are already evaluated, we set apart, we are in Christ Jesus, and uh, thank you for watching. This is, um, uh, this is the message for today, and uh, be blessed, let the Word of God dwell in you, and multiply, and bear fruits of God's righteousness, and uh, bless your family, your whole household, because we have promises, so me and my whole household uh, will be serving the Lord Almighty God, in Jesus' name, amen.